Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this edition, we're going to be addressing the issue of decompression sickness or decompression illness after flying. Keep watching. This came as a curveball question. An individual had been diving. They then took a flight and upon returning home after the flight, they told the instructor about it. The instructor was alarmed about the fact that they had flown after diving and what they should do about it. Well, the bottom line is that if within six hours after diving, there are no symptoms or haven't been in any in any period in those first six hours, the chances of getting symptoms are very, very slim. If the person has already flown and they haven't developed symptoms, the chances of now developing symptoms are extremely remote to the point of virtually being impossible. However, it is wise to follow the flying after diving guidelines and you'll see the link below this video clip where you can see Dan's flying after diving guidelines that was done in conjunction with the undersea and hyperbaric medical society and if there have been no symptoms well then you got away with it and perhaps your diving was conservative enough that it didn't cause any problems or maybe your flight was just really very short but it is as a general rule important to make sure that you have had sufficient surface interval time from diving to flying to avoid developing decompression illness in flight if you've already flown and landed and you never had symptoms well then you can do this you got away with it and unless for some unforeseen reason symptoms arise which is highly unlikely in which case you seek diving medical advice you don't need to worry so until next time safe diving